What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Recreating. So today we're going to do a review of this custom ring I made for basically the Stump Arena Turtles, but I mean you could display any turtle you like on it. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys, as you guys can see, I made this custom ring. Um, if you guys watched any footage on the San Diego Comic Con, 2024 San Diego Comic Con, you seen that NECA had this on their display. And I was like, I got to make me one of those because I thought that it was really cool, especially when you put the turtles in here, you put the stump uh, arena turtle. If you guys don't know what the stump arena turtles is, I'm pretty sure most of you do. Um, well, whoever's watching this, I'm sure you, you know who, who they are, but uh, they got a crying hound and they got uh, the four pack of the turtles and um, they're it, it's it, This goes back to the Archie comics um, uh, The Archie comics are one of my favorite com comics uh, For the turtles. Uh, I like the art style in the Archie comics um, I like the art style better in the Archie comics than I do in the actual uh, cartoon series uh, I like how they draw them a lot better in the in the comics, uh, but that's just my personal uh, uh, choice. But um, it's a lot easier to draw a comic book than it is to draw uh, uh, an actual cartoon because you have to constantly draw the same thing over and over again. So um, I could see why they didn't put as much detail in a cartoon as in a comic. So, but uh, just to put a little you know perspective on that. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I like the the Archie comics design a lot better on the Turtles than I do on the cartoon series. Uh, so I will be collecting the rest of these. Not all of them are from the Stump uh, uh, comic book. Uh, all these are from the Archie comic, comic book, but there's a series on the comic books where uh, the Turtles go into... Uh, a different dimension and in order to get back to their own house or back to their own dimension uh, they have to fight in an arena and they have to battle some guys and so on and so forth so uh, that's why they have the wrestling and as far as the four turtles go i'm not gonna pick those up because i'm sick and tired of so many turtles like actual turtles the turtles um i want the bad guys or the enemies or other turtles or other figures that we haven't had yet I'd rather collect those than continue buying a bunch of, you know, turtles with disguise and turtles with this and turtles with just an extra hat or turtles with the extra jacket. Uh, to me, that's nonsense. I don't need all that stuff. NECA could do an accessory pack where the accessory pack comes with extra shoes, extra jackets, and so on and so forth instead of making <laughs> <laughs> Mikey just got body slapped. Um, so instead of doing turtles over and over again, uh, you could just do an accessory set and just sell it like that. And we could, you know, disguise our turtles the way we want to disguise them. But it's it's just too much for me. I don't know. It's just it's it's annoying for me personally. I don't like it. So that's why I'm not gonna pick up the four turtles, even though I like the Archie comic figures. Uh, I'm not gonna pick those up. I think it's a lot of waste of time. And I saw a lot of reviews in it, and all those reviews they don't have anything. In, in it like no accessories there like it's just very plain there's no accessories on those um on those four pack it's just it's literally a background and then some little uh fountain drink cups and uh, i don't know just like little random stuff a table and uh, i don't even think the table comes with it actually the bell to ring the bell with the little bird and that's it nothing really big oh and a chair Speaking of chairs, I wish that this guy actually came with some accessories. This guy doesn't come with any accessories at all. It's literally just a figure and uh, uh, two other sets of hands, uh, a total of four hands. But it, like, you couldn't throw a chair in here. Like, seriously, throw a chair in here. Something like it, these are. This guy is the same price as any other uh, NECA figure. I don't understand why they couldn't at least put a chair in there or something you know what i mean but uh, popcorn something uh, i don't know to it doesn't make any sense but whatever it is what it is uh, i still like the figure i think this is one of the coolest ones uh, uh leatherhead archie comics the stump arena ones um there is another leatherhead that doesn't have the shorts in the comic books again there's 
there's Archie comic comic books where it's uh, different storylines going through the comic books, and one of the storylines is where they go to the stump arena, um, and then they battle it out. And so Leatherhead is one of the wrestlers. Uh, that's why they have him in this uh, attire right here. Anyways, uh, I digress. <laughs> the whole point of the video was uh, to show off the ring. Um, I did put a I like I said, I, I saw it in the San Diego Comic Con display and I was like, I gotta make me one of those. So I did. Uh, and yes, this guy is for sale and I will make more if, if other people are interested in it. And if you guys are interested in it, uh, send me an email on rickcreating uh, at gmail.com and I'll reply to you as soon as I can. Anyways, let's talk about the specs. So it is um, a foot by a foot and then it's eight inches tall. I thought that was pretty good. If you guys can see the reference here, you guys can compare it. It's pretty nice height. And you know how some of the wrestlers like slide in. So I thought it was a really nice uh, height for them to like do that stuff or, you know, it's, I think it's a perfect height for them. And then um, this is actual rope. And then these actually come out. The only reason I made that uh, a priority was because uh, it's a lot easier to ship and the shipping won't be as expensive because i could just pull these out shove them under here of course wrap them up bubble wrap them because these are uh super spiky and i don't want these to break um so i'll wrap them up in bubble wrap i'll toss them down here and then the shipping box will be a lot smaller uh, uh thus the shipping itself will be a lot cheaper so that's why that's the only reason why i did it uh originally this was gonna be for me but I don't have any place to display this thing right now. So I was like, I might as well sell it. And if somebody else wants one, of course, I'll make one for them too. Um, but yeah, that's what I get. And then I also added the little cartoon lines. If you guys can see the Archie comic ones and even the, the latest Turtles ones, they have little lines here and there. You, you can probably see it better on this guy. So if you can see all the little lines here to make it more cartoonish. Um, that's what I kind of added here to make it look a little bit more cartoonish. The ring look, make it look in a whole cohesive piece with the figures, you know, the ring with the figures. So that's why I did it the way I did. Um, this was already there on the, on the one that they had in the display for NECA. Um, they already had this and I was like, so I did that too. And then in the inside, let me show you guys move the camera this way so you won't see the shadow but i do i did uh imprints of uh different feet right there and then the turtle's hand and then some little stain a little rip there and this is like the bottom or the shell as if a turtle got slammed right there and they left the imprint and then i got the turtle's imprints right there like he got smashed down or something he got hit oh it just hit my camera so like if he got hit and he left his imprints there or something or he jumped hard and he left the imprints i don't know um but yeah i was also gonna make some scratches here like if a turtle was being or any figure was being dragged across the ring and their claws got uh excuse me the, the claws got caught up to on the ring and i started scratching the ring i was also gonna do that but uh, i just left it alone because i think i put too much uh uh, imprints so i was like i don't want to add too too much to it you know I mean, although i don't think it'll look bad because you know it, it looks like it's been used so that's why i was gonna do it but yeah that's that's basically it that's the whole ring you could fit a quite a few figures in here um so let me show you guys you could probably fit like three figures this way and then probably four figures this way like if you were facing them forward of course Put one more in there. So there you go. You guys could fit four figures that way. And then probably three figures this way. So yeah, you have a good amount of space. And then the ropes are pretty nice and tight. So you could like put one of the figures on the ropes if you want it. However, you could like hang them in there or whatever. So yeah. I just wanted to get this video out there just letting you guys know if you guys are interested in one of these rings uh, let me know I'll be more than happy to make you one um, 
of course it's going to cost money because you know time is money <laughs> but if you guys are interested like i said uh send me a message on rickcreating at gmail.com uh i will leave um my email on the description down below uh just to make sure you guys write it exactly the way it's supposed to be written rick creating the same the same name as my channel rick creating at gmail.com basically and uh yeah just send me a, a message and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and then we could talk from there anyways guys that's gonna wrap it up i hope you enjoyed this little video uh if you guys did please don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do guess what guess we'll see me on the next one peace